I don't care what, what you is happening. Me? Today is the what? day that I surf England. Good morning, Nub Nation. Good morning from London, England, where we just checked out of our hotel and we we're walking down to our parking garage. Hopefully our car's still there. And on to the next journey. Today is a day of reckoning. Keep going, honey. First good news of the day. Car's still here. Where's your Car's still here. Just getting the dream together in the parking garage here. Let's go surfing now. Today's the day, Jordan. <laughs> Are you gonna start crossing them off? Yeah, what do I got? I gotta eat United States. Did I say we're surfing in another country? All right, here we go. We're leaving London. We are experiencing it all this trip. Okay, so today, the moral of the story today has been traffic. However, this traffic that we're currently sitting in. Is worth it. Is what? Worth it. <laughs> is because we're passing Stonehenge on the right. Yeah, but did, didn't you guys think that Stonehenge was like, I always picture Stonehenge on the top of a mountainside cliff. It's in the middle of the damn field. I, on the side of a highway. I've been to Stonehenge before and I can tell you this. That's sick. We're going to come off the cliff. So I've seen Stonehenge before. I went with my family. I, well, I went with my mom and my sister. And uh, we took a bus here, so I really wasn't paying attention. I definitely didn't realize it was this close to the highway. But this is pretty cool. This I is mean, Jay Verney's cool, type though. of sightseeing. an alien landing? Yeah, they don't understand how they built it. They didn't have the capabilities to build it, but somehow it's there. So, an amazing moment in time. We saw it. We came, we saw, I came back, I saw again. I mean, and what's the, why did you go? Like, I just don't understand. Oh, I get don't it worry, it took a whole day out of my life to go see that. That's what I mean, like, I get it that it's like a phenomenon, but like, in reality, I don't know. It's like, doesn't need to be a whole day. Jay Verney does England. <laughs> All right, guys, we're coming up on Strawhenge on the left side of the road. We just saw Stonehenge on the right, now we got Strawhenge. Jordan's getting a shot of it. I mean, these are way cooler. Strawhenge is a little almost, almost gnarlier because of the smell. Nally. Nally, chally. Okay, we Googled why New Jersey was called New Jersey. The land uh, was officially named New Jersey after the Isle of Jersey in the English Channel. Berkeley and Cartet sold the land at a low price and allowed settlers to have political and religious freedom. So, here's what I'm wondering. Think about this. We just passed a place called Winterbourne Stoke. Right? Yeah. How random would it have been if instead of New Jersey... We were like, it they, was like those names. Like, it was sold to us by Winterbourne Stoke. And New Jersey wasn't called New Jersey. It was called New Winterbourne Stoke. Is there or is there not a lot of Winterbourne Stoke in New Jersey? For yeah, the waves. There's Winterbourne Stoke. I got the shot. I'm just saying, the, the world is interesting and that could have happened and that would have been wild. I was 
obsessed with airheads as a kid. Me too. Most people were our age. Mm. Let's see what we got. Airheads, sour lemon soda. How many? Wait, why am I calling them airheads? Warhead. I always call them airheads. Is it sour? Is it sour? Is it sour? <sighs> 150 calories. Not for me. What do you say? That's my last sip. Smells gross. Oh, I like it. You can have it. Ah, I'm off traffic. I'm off traffic. <laughs> when we woke up this morning, we were like, all right, we're getting out of London. It felt great. Weather nice, crispy, not too hot. That How long have we been in this car? Since 9. Remember, we were like, we're 924, 924, 924. And now what time is it? I don't know. It is now 219. 219. So we've been in here for five hours. Oh my God. We're supposed to be. This is Ben. This is what you get when you go on vacation, vacation, AKA work trip with Ben. Nothing makes sense. But. He also thinks the whole country is the size of New Jersey. Today is the what? day that I surf England. I don't care what What'd is happening. About? Ben, I'm proud of you. I just want to let you know I'm proud of you. You know, I dealt with this on the 43 beach towns. I got to the point where like the universe was telling me not to do it. And I was like, you know what? F you universe, I'm doing it. The so. universe thing. Oh my God. You're going to. There's if the reason for the season that traffic stop. If you're, <laughs> you're going to serve every country in the world, there's going to be a lot of universal stops and you're just going to have to deal with it. This is, this is a small one. Imagine Africa. Imagine me serving every planet in the solar systems. I'm, after this, I'll be a shoe in for the first person to surf on Mars. Honestly, that's where I put my foot down and say, no, you're not doing that ever. Thank you. Okay, well, too late. Too late to book my ticket. All right, we finally broke away from the traffic. We're currently 13 miles away from Nuki. You say it right, it kind of sounds like Nuki. Like Nuki. So if you yelled it, you could say Nuki. It almost sounded like you were saying Nuking. So it was only right that we came to Nuking to shred the gnar. Here we are, about to dream it in England. Oh, Jordan, Jordan, what? you didn't tell me about the exit here, mate. I was sleeping. <laughs> We did it. I made it to the exit. Dreamers. Did we? This area definitely reminds me of more of like a Pennsylvania or Ohio more than it does like New Jersey or California or somewhere that you can go surfing, but we are apparently two miles from the beach right now. No way. And we just drove through like cow fields, farms, all kinds of stuff like that. So it's unreasonable to think that we would be rolling up to the beach right now, but apparently super, super excited to check this out. Wanted to mention, Cornwall is actually known for getting pretty big waves. They do get winter storms and they do get hurricanes and they do get waves even in the summer. Here's some pictures of some waves that I found online of Cornwall absolutely nuking. Today, probably not gonna look like that, but all we need is something. And today the waves are gonna be enough for me to check off England. And here we are, we're at the beach. Different than London. J. Vern vibe. Ah. What? It's chilly. It's chilly. It's not freezing. What's up? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> we sell your boards up. We've got a surf shop. Oh, where? Put a secret spot. It's garbage. Oh, no way! Yeah. We were trying to figure oh, out where that was. What's the claim out here, dude? The claim. 
right small. Now. Can you surf out yeah. here though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anywhere you want? Yeah. Oh, oh nice. The flag's up this way, but. Oh, not in front of the flags? Yeah. Like you go catch flags. a couple off that rock over there. Yeah, you could do, yeah. yeah. Epic. Oh, that's like a time. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So the waves are not amazing. They're actually better than I expected them to be. So me and Jordan are gonna suit up and go down to the beach. And the tide is really, there's like a 21 foot tide. So the beach is really big right now, but in the next two hours, the beach is gonna like disappear. So we're gonna see what happens down there and go catch a couple waves. It's a dream. Jay Bernie. Jay Bernie. Ooh. How do you feel? I feel Sorry good. In England. It's a uh, small waves, big moment. Small waves. And honestly, the waves aren't that bad. I've surfed worse. Honestly, you should make a song about the 50, 50 days. Well, you should have made that. Honestly, but you should make a, a song about the country. Poppin' novelty wave. So we just gotta wait for the tide to come up a little bit. Look at this cave over here. There's caves, there's all kinds of stuff. We're gonna figure this out. It's gonna be a dream. Caves, jet skis. This is a different experience. We're going out fully gunned up. Got car keys, cameras, sunglasses on. We got the board. These waves are my size. We're not leaving anything behind. We're just committing right now to the session. They're sharks. Oh my God. Here we go. Well, Wish me luck. This is beautiful. Beautiful. Now, here he goes. The man who will surf every country in the world. No way. He has spotted a novelty wave and we are out there. Incoming set, here we go. Bomb out the back, honestly. Full blown. I'm now documenting. Oh, I'm gonna get wet. Woo. Oh no, the phone's wet. The phone is wet. <laughs> interrupted we are on the hunt for novelty waves and we found a cave Gentlemen, England, check. Is that a dead bird? Jordan's scared of everything in there. It's so funny. That was dumb. I have no idea what I was trying to say there. That door down. Yeah, Jay Bird. Get up, get up. Surf in England. <laughs> Just caught a couple waves in England for the first time ever with my wife. She caught a couple waves, actually. Jordy, you might accidentally surf every country in the world, but. Truly, that was a really special experience, especially because we didn't think there was gonna be any waves today at all. And on top of that, it took us seven hours to get here. It was a four hour drive. We went through so much to get down to this beach today. And we ended up finding some really special gems down here today. The wave was a novelty wave. And it was a novelty wave. That's crazy. Yeah. I think I'm gonna be doing some more surfing, but 
I don't know if our current situation can hold up because this tide's coming in quick, but uh, we get it. England, baby. Do you want to catch one there where yeah. it's like bowling up? Yeah. Do you want to? No, you got it. I, what's crazy is the wave that I surfed is gone now. So I came just in time for the novelty and that's sometimes how the universe does it. It just brings it to you perfectly. Right when you need it the most. What? <laughs> that was nuts. <laughs> All right. Whoa, look at that one. Oh my gosh. This thing's kind of firing. Cliffside. Grinder. Oh. I think this wave might be a little deadlier than I thought it was. Definitely kind of gnarly. Dink, do, dink, do. Dink, do, dink, do. Oh my god. She needs a rescue. Watch your back! Watch your back! Watch no, there's not. Give me your arm. No, there's not. Right in this ravine, there's not even a rock. Go! Go! Jordan, you have to... <laughs> okay, Jordan just almost got caught in Poseidon's revenge. But uh, there's a nice little side wedge right here. I, I might get one. We'll see, I'm kind of sitting in the right spot, but they're kind of very random, few and far between. But maybe I'll get lucky. Yeah, sir. Yeah, so I told you. It's going yeah. nuts out there. It's tiny. It's like Everyone's saying it's tiny. I thought it was. I thought it was big for me. <laughs> Jordan, we did it. Hey, it's your country. Good job. I'm absolutely above the moon right now. Is that my 15th country? I'm fucking. It's hell. so hard to know in this day and age. Oh yeah. But we're doing it. Jordan caught a couple. Jordan caught a great wave. I'm posting it right now. I filmed it vertical, but I, it's still in the vlog. I put it in anyway. Came, showed up, surfed a novelty wave. Absolutely scored. Some people were stoked to see us. And uh, we're back on the road. Six hours to Snowdonia. The main question. What are you doing here? Everyone asks. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's like, they go, what are you doing here? And then I'm like, I'm going surfing. It's firing. And they go, it sucks. It's so small. Oh, I have a clip. I have this here. here we go. I have no service. <laughs>